Welcome to Rowdy Rants. I'm Rowdy. Thank you for coming. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back again. Going to be talking about truth in reporting and truth in politics. This is, in essence, the core to a lot of the problems that we're having with woke and cancel culture and so much pushing of partisan politics. And a lot of it could be resolved if each individual state were to come forward with law concerning liable, slander, invasion of privacy, these three, concerning freedom of speech. I'm a big advocate for freedom of speech, but there's no freedom of speech for yelling fire in a, uh, in a theater. There better be a fire there if you do it, okay? And the same should go for the media and politicians. They should be reporting the truth. They should be stating the truth. And there should be criminal penalties with a minimum of a two-year sentence without parole for people caught violating people's right to privacy, for committing slander, for committing libel. Why? Oh, it's not a big, yes, it is a huge deal. That is exactly why we have a thriving woke culture and a thriving cancel culture, is because they report opinion as fact, they report absolute BS as fact, and once you start enforcing these laws, you will see a change in politics. When you pull someone into court and that judge is saying truth in reporting or truth in politics is proof that you can sit on the table and we can observe as being the truth. Meaning when somebody references an anonymous source and a judge says, who's your source? and they can't produce their source, they go to jail. Period. You wanna see a lot of this mess with cancel culture, woke culture, um, any of your hostile cultures on the right or the left. You wanna see those start disappearing? You wanna see people start dealing with the true political needs of the nation instead of a bunch of baloney. Lack someone's pronouns. We need limits, reasonable limits on freedom of speech. Freedom of speech should be respected, but it should be used responsibly. And when someone uses it irresponsibly, no, there should not be civil penalties. Not with somebody that makes seven million a year for sitting there running his mouth, spouting opinion off as fact, spouting off a bunch of crap as fact on any side of the spectrum. Criminal penalties. That's what we need. Okay, that's it. That's all I got to say. I don't want to drag it out. It's real simple. That is the basis of our problems that we are experiencing on all sides of culture in the United States. Think about it. Study up on it. Look at what you see on TV. You'll see that I'm right. My name's Rowdy. That's my rant. Y'all have a great day.